Now to the mailman, famous or infamous for landing his gyrocopter on the Capitol lawn. He landed somewhere else overnight, back home in Florida. Capitol more than anything else, he was just confused about why there wasn't a massive law enforcement presence already waiting for him. Overnight, Doug Hughes speaking out about his high-flying political stunt over Washington, D.C. I didn't see any, any vehicles. Hughes admitting that he got further than even he anticipated. I had expected to be intercepted uh, on the way. Hughes saying he envisioned a Black Hawk helicopter hovering over the U.S. Capitol with guns pointed at him, but he found a completely different scene. People were not frightened at all. They, they looked at it and people waved at me. While flying the gyrocopter, the 61-year-old postal worker felt that authorities didn't even know he was there. At no point did I feel that it was not a good idea. Quickly after landing, Hughes realized that he was safe and that police knew he wasn't a terrorist. Really, that, that point is when they're aware that they're in control of the situation, they're aware that I'm not carrying a bomb, I didn't feel at risk anymore. Facing a possible four years in jail, Hughes returns to Florida, where he is ordered to be on house arrest. We've got bigger problems in this country and fussing about whether or not the security around D.C. is ironclad. We need to be worried about the piles of money that are going into Congress. Your wife Would you pay you? attention to what the priority and the purpose of the flight was? Do you consider yourself a patriot? No, I'm a mailman. Well, Hughes is charged with operating an unregistered aircraft and violating restricted airspace. In addition to house arrest, he's not allowed to travel to D.C. unless it's for court, and he can't operate any flying vehicles, which, given the circumstances, would seem reasonable. Yes, uh, I'm struck <laughs> by the, the term he used, the words he used. At no point did I think it was not a good idea. And even now, yeah. he still he stands by it, he defends it, and he wanted to raise attention to this issue. I believe he said that he would rather die at the age now than live to be 80 and see our country fail. Those were his words. So well, We'll see how it ends up. He might yep. spend four years in jail. So. Mara, thank you very thank much. You.